Hi everyone, it's pumpkin season. I have recently visited the farm and picked some pumpkins, so I thought, why don't we make some sticky rice pumpkin cakes today, which uses pumpkin itself for the flavor and the color. It also looks a lot like a cute pumpkin, making it a perfect Thanksgiving or Halloween treat. They are very fun to make, gluten free, and no baking needed. So let's get started. Here's the list of ingredients that you need. Pumpkin or any types of squash would do as well. Glutinous rice flour, cornstarch, sugar, some chocolates, and raisins. Step one is to make the pumpkin puree. I am using small pie pumpkin. First, chop off the stem and the top of the pumpkin. Cut it into half. Take out the seeds. There are two ways to cook the pumpkin. You can either bake it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. Scrape off the pulp of the pumpkin when finished. Or peel the pumpkin. Then slice it into smaller pieces and steam them for 20 minutes. Put the pumpkin slices right on the steaming rack so that the water will be drained out this way. When it's done, the pumpkin should be smooth and soft. You can easily poke through the flesh with a fork. Use a fork or masher to crush the pumpkin until it's smooth and mushy. Or you can also use a food processor or blender to grind the cooked pumpkin into puree. You can totally skip the first step and just use the store-bought pumpkin puree, but as you can see, making the puree from scratch isn't too hard. Moving on to step 2, make the dough. Add the glutinous rice flour, cornstarch, and sugar into the puree. Mix them into a dough. Depending on how watery the pumpkin puree is, if your dough is still sticky, you can add in a bit more glutinous rice flour and cornstarch mix. Keep the proportion of the two at 3 to 1. Both cornstarch and gluten flours are actually gluten free, so it is really easy to make the dough, no excessive kneading or resting of the dough is needed. Just simply blend the flour well with the puree until the dough is smooth and no longer sticky. Next step is the fun step, make the dough into the pumpkin cakes. Take some dough, flatten them into a pancake shape. Put the chocolate in the middle, or you can sub it with red bean paste or any other fillings of your choice. I am using this dark chocolate with pumpkin seeds and sea salt, which not only brings some more sophisticated flavor to this treat, but it also adds some pumpkin seeds into our little pumpkin cakes. Wrap up the chocolate with the dough. Pinch the dough together on the top to enclose the filling. Row it into a ball. Use a toothpick. Press on the surface of the dough to mimic the lines on the pumpkin. Carve out the sides as well. In the end, add a raisin on top as the stem of the pumpkin. And repeat the process. And we're done! Those little pumpkin cakes are ready to go into the steamer. The last step is just to steam the sticky pumpkin cakes for 15 minutes. The orange pumpkin color will turn brighter after steamed. And our pretty and tasty pumpkin cakes are finished! The cake possesses a rich flavor of pumpkin and is soft and chewy sweet but not overpowering. When you bite into it, chocolates have melted inside of the cakes and become runny. It even has some pumpkin seeds inside. Together, they make a perfect fall tree. I hope you enjoyed the flavor and the making of those pumpkin cakes. Hope you have a wonderful fall season and happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more recipes like this.